sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 31st of January. I'm James Spann. Beautiful day today, a nice day tomorrow. Then unsettled weather is likely over the latter half of the week with rain at times and maybe some thunder along the way. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Got an upper low that's currently over Texas. We'll keep an eye on that. That's drifting in our direction. Got a wave coming through the northern Rockies and a pretty good storm is going to be spinning up with a lot of snow and ice north of the state this week. But a beautiful day today. There's the visible satellite view. The sky mostly sunny statewide. And a really nice warm-up. As expected, most spots have exceeded 60. Birmingham at 63. Tuscaloosa, 66. We're expecting highs in the 60s tomorrow. We might be flirting with 70 by Thursday of this week. And around the region, looking awfully good. Shreveport, Louisiana, managing 70. Memphis at 67. But oddly enough, Memphis might have some ice issues later this week. Winter storm watch is in effect now from Kansas, Oklahoma, parts of North Texas up through Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Northwest Ohio. This could be a pretty good snow for them. Got a flash flood watch for parts of southeastern Texas. Down here, things are quiet. Got a marginal risk of severe storms today and tonight for parts of the Texas coastal plain, the middle Texas coastal plain. Tomorrow, no thunderstorms across the country. And day three, which is Wednesday, there's a chance of thunder south and west of Alabama, but no severe storms are expected there. Precipitation over the next seven days, a lot with our new storm system for Alabama, it's going to be rain. Rain amounts between two and three inches are likely for most of the state. The heavier totals up in the Shoals area, they might see three and a half inches there between now and the end of the week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at three. Got the big trough out in the western states. And again, for us, still one more nice day. Partly sunny, highs in the 60s. Very, very pleasant. Then Wednesday, the Gulf of Mexico opens up. We'll probably see rain moving in by afternoon for the northern half of the state. And you can see a pretty nasty snow and ice event beginning to unfold from uh, the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, Colorado, New Mexico, up into Kansas City, St. Louis, Indianapolis, and Detroit. All of that north of us. We'll just have rain here Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. And again, we're getting evidence that a decent chunk of the day Thursday could be dry. Temperatures well up in the 60s, maybe flirting with 70. Uh, snow and ice just north and west of here. This is suggesting Memphis, Little Rock, Louisville could have freezing rain and ice on Thursday. But Alabama, mild, with a few scattered showers. Uh, this is the instability Thursday, and there's just not any showing up. So we're not too concerned about severe weather at this point. But the main system comes in here Thursday night. That's Thursday night at midnight with rain and maybe some thunder. And again, the chance of some icing for Nashville and much of Kentucky. But for us, just rain. And then Friday, the better chance of rain by afternoon shifting down into South Alabama. Now, the day will be cooler, 40s probably for the northern part of the state, 50s for the south. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. For most of the state, the day will be dry, probably a lot of clouds around. A cool day, the high will be close to 50, maybe a few showers near the Gulf Coast. And then Sunday, evidence a wave comes in on the front, and that will bring rain back in here if the GFS is right. This is the European Sunday, not quite as aggressive, but it still hints at that wave. So uh, we'll mention a chance of rain on Sunday. That'll be a cool rain with temperatures in the 50s. And er if it starts early enough in the day, there might be a, a, a touch of sleet, but for now it looks like just mostly rain on Sunday. And this is Monday, a week from today. Got an upper low southwest of El Paso. We're still in a southwest flow aloft, and we're dry. And highs will likely be between 50 and 55. We'll go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, the 10th of February. Troughing north and west of the state, and that looks dry and seasonal, if this verifies. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean, about 3 inches between now and the 15th of February. Thought we'd check the snow output coming off the ensembles, and just, you know, a few members spit out some light snow from time to time, but there's no real serious signal here for snow or ice issues in Alabama for the next 10 days or so. Look at the 69 on Thursday. How about that? Very comfortable through Thursday. Then highs back around 50 for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 50s next week. And hot off the presses. Got the brand new CPC outlook. This is for the 8th 
through the 14th of February. And if this all works out, temperatures here would be a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Sinking driveway? Call Alabama Professional Services. Settling patio? Call APS. Uneven pool deck? Call APS. Collapsing stoop? Call APS. Cracking sidewalk? That's right, call APS. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today. 205-926-1700.